In this example, we want to subtract a decimal from a whole number, but notice how the decimal we're subtracting is actually larger than the whole number, so this result is going to be negative. Just think if you have five dollars and then you lose nine dollars and fifty-four cents, the result is a loss. So this result will be negative. I think it'll be helpful to write this as an addition problem and then follow the rules for adding signed numbers. Subtracting a positive nine point five four is equivalent to adding negative nine point five four. So we can write this as five plus negative nine point five four. And when adding numbers with different signs, the rule is to subtract the absolute values. And we always subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. And then we use the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. But really we can see here that the negative is going to outweigh the positive. So this sum will be negative. And then to find that negative number, what we'll do is subtract the absolute values. The larger absolute value would be the absolute value of negative 9.54, which would be positive 9.54 and then we'll subtract the absolute value of five, which would just be five. So lining up the place values, the five would go here. We'd have a decimal point here, and if we want, we can add zero to the right of the decimal point. So 5.00 is still equal to five. And now before we subtract, we'll move the decimal point into our difference. Again, we're subtracting the absolute values because as an addition problem, we're adding numbers with different signs. So we have four minus zero, that's four, five minus zero is five, and nine minus five is four. So this difference is 4.54, but again we know this sum has to be negative, so it's actually negative 4.54. Now in this example, I think it's worth to take a look at this on the number line. So if we were to model positive five, we'd start at zero and move right five units. But then if we want to subtract 9.54 or add negative 9.54, we would actually move left 9.54 units. So if we move left 9.54 units, here's left five units, we'd have to go 4.54 more units to the left, maybe somewhere in here, where we would be at negative 4.54. So this distance here is the distance that we're getting when we subtract the absolute values. So this distance is 4.54, but because we're left of zero, it's actually negative 4.54. So I hope this helps. One of the most important things to recognize in the initial problem was that we were subtracting a decimal that was larger than the whole number.